I'm giving away a $50 PSN card to one lucky subscriber at the end of the month. To enter for a chance to win, be sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a hashtag giveaway on any video during the month of May. The winner will be announced on my Twitter on May 31st, 2017. Good luck. Hey, what's going on guys? How do you do? It's your boy Gray here. In today's video, I wanted to bring you guys some tips and tricks on how to read the minimap better and determine better flanking routes. And before we get into that, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to squat up and subscribe for more daily content. Don't forget to enter the $50 PSN card giveaway at the end of the month. And if you find this video helpful, please smash that like button for me. And with all that said, let's get back to it. So this video is going to be mainly a commentary video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some thoughts and strategies when it comes to playing maps better and knowing how to read the minimap. So let me say this right off the bat. These are things that really work for me and this is how I play Call of Duty. I'm not the greatest Call of Duty player in the world by any means, but I feel like I have a certain set of skills in this game to allow me to do good in public matches. I'm almost always the top player on my team, win or lose, and I usually know most of the time where the enemy is going to be. So let's talk about routes. And if you're trying to flank the other team, routes are your best friend. And it's very important to know all the possible routes in the map once you have the routes in mind and you see on the minimap where your team is, that should give you some idea on where the best place to flank the other team would be. If you see that most of your team appears on the minimap to your left, that should tell you that the opposing team is going to be most likely on the right side of the map. And if your team is spawning behind you, that should tell you that the opposing team is opposite of that. So using the minimap to your advantage is a major key when you want to flank the enemy. The minimap is your best guide when you want to figure out where the enemy team is. Now this does have to come with some knowledge of the maps that you're playing. It's very important to figure out or just in general have a basic understanding of spawn points and hiding spots on each map. Use the minimap kind of like a point of direction to where the enemy could be. The way I use the minimap when, I, when there's no UAV up is that I usually try to go in the direction where my teammates aren't. You know, that's the way I like to play. If I see a bunch of teammates are to my left, I'm going to start pushing towards the right. And if I see like there's two or three players on top of the map, I'm going to start pushing the opposite of that. So I want you guys to give this a try. Use the minimap next game when there is no UAV and you'll see how going the opposite routes that your teammates are going will lead you into more engagement and more gunfights. Just be ready to act because spawn points aren't always consistent to where you think they'll be. So there you guys have it. There is my quick tips and tricks video on how to move around the maps better and how to flank the enemy with more advantage. I hope this video helped out a little bit. It's a bit difficult to show you guys exactly what I mean, but I hope you understand just by me talking here. Uh, try using these tips and tricks in your next few Call of Duty games and you should see some improvement in your game. I mean, obviously it does take some some time and practice you got to put in the work and you should be able to see some improvement just be aware of the mini map at all times so if you guys are new to the channel be sure to squat up and subscribe for more daily content be sure to enter the 50 dollars psn card giveaway i'm having at the end of the month smash that like button for me turn on notifications all that good stuff for your boy till the next one thanks for watching my name is gray peace